In this tutorial, we'll show you four of the most popular ways to build a read next section in your ghost theme. We'll show you how to fetch the latest posts. We'll show you how to fetch the latest posts by the same author. We'll show you how to fetch the latest posts related by tag. And finally, we'll show you how to dynamically show posts based on member status. Whichever way you choose to build a read next section, you'll know that your audience always has something else to read. Let's get into it. The first read next section we're going to look at is the one that comes out of the box with Casper, Ghost's default theme. So on the right hand side here, I have a post opened in the Casper theme. And if we scroll to the very bottom of this post, you see that there are these two, um, yeah, two articles, two posts that are recommended or suggested. And this is the read next section. So you're done reading this article and now here's two suggested that you can read next. What we're going to do uh, in this section of the tutorial is look at the code that powers this section because its structure will also serve as the basis for the rest of the versions of the read next section we'll look at. So on the left hand side here, I have the Casper code open that's um, powering this read next section. And we're going to go through it line by line so you understand what's going on. And so it starts here with this Git helper. This Git helper is a really powerful uh, tool in building ghost themes. And what it does, as its name implies, is it fetches or gets resources. So it gets data from your ghost site. In this case, we're getting posts, but you could also get tags, tiers, or authors. But we're going to get posts, and then we come to the filter attribute. The filter attribute is really a, just a magical attribute that helps you do a lot of really cool stuff with the Git helper. And here we're putting it to a simple but very important uh, purpose. And that's to make sure that when we return these posts of things to look at next, we don't include the current post in the collection. So it would be a poor user experience if we had start here for a quick overview of everything you need to know. That's what you're reading now. And then down here, we suggested again, you know, the same article that start here for everything you, you need to know. That would be a poor user experience. So what this filter is doing is telling Ghost not to get the current post. The way it works is you first um, give the property that you want to filter on. So in this case, we're saying ID. We want to filter on the ID. And then you put in an operator. In this case, we're putting a colon. You always have to have a colon. And then uh, we have this minus sign. And minus sign here is negation. And it's negating what comes after it. And so we have these curly braces here which mean uh, that this data is dynamic. And that means that this ID here will be uh, rendered with the current posts ID when the git helper runs. So it'll say that get me posts, but don't include the ID, the post with the ID of the current page. And we'll see in a minute uh, a more of a visual kind of representation of what's happening, which should help you understand this a little bit better. The next part is limit. A limit says only give me three posts. You could also have two, you could have five, whatever number. And you can also have the word all if you want to get all of the posts. And the final piece of this is what's called a block parameter. And this is a way for you to give a name to the collection of data that you're getting so that it's easier to work with and recognize further down. So here you always start it with as and then between the pipe symbols, um, you put in the name of the collection that you want. So we're using more posts. Now to make it a little bit clearer, um, I put together a little bit of a custom uh, bit of code so we can see what's happening a little bit more clearly. So I'm gonna uncomment that and refresh. And this is not related to building the, the um, read next section, but this is just a way you can kind of see what's going on. All right, so this, um, ID, it refers to the ID of the post. So the current post we're on here, start here for a quick overview of everything you need to know. Um, it has this ID, and that's the ID that's going to be rendered here in, in this um, Git helper. So again, this filter is going to say, 
don't give me this post back, but give me three more. And then these are the three additional posts that's included in this more posts helper. Um, you might be wondering, you only see two here. That's because of how wide the screen is. Uh, for on a wider screen, it's going to show all three of them. And then on an even smaller screen, it'll show fewer. And that's just CSS that's styling that. All right. And then author will become uh, important in our next section, but we're uh, not going to worry about it here. All right. And let's move on then to the next bit of the read next section. So um, here we have if more posts. So you see that this block parameter is coming into play. And what this if helper is doing is saying, let's only proceed if there are actually posts. So you could imagine that maybe uh, the person's on the last post or there's nothing more to fetch, that if that's the case, then the rest of this code won't render. And what uh, that, that's useful for is then this markup, this HTML would be hidden if you didn't have any more posts to show. So it is a nice way to control kind of the layout and the look and the flow of your theme um, to have the if helper here. The next part is this for each helper and for each, as the name suggests, loops through the collection, loops through each post. So it's going to go through the more posts collection here. It's going to go through this post first, this post next, and then this post. And for each post, it's going to render that post using the post card partial. Uh, the partial here is used um, or yeah, used by using this um, angle bracket inside the and then the name of the, the um, partial. And that allows you to use or reuse code across your ghost theme. Uh, the postcard partial here, this is the file for it. This is what the code looks like. And so that means that for each one of these posts in the more posts collection, it's going to render that data using this template. And so again, when you put this all together, you get this read next section, which fetches the three most recent posts and then renders them using this postcard template. So that's how you use and build a read next section in um, to fetch the three latest posts in the next in our next section we're going to show you how to uh, filter the posts based on the author of the current post and to only return those posts that have the same author for our second example we're going to look at building a read next section that filters on the same author so i updated the data. So we're seeing the author slug for each post. And what you can see right now is that the posts that are returned, the three most recent posts, one of them has a different author, Ryan, that's me. Um, and what we want though, is that all of the posts are returned to be by Jamie. So what we can do here is come into our existing um, read next section, the same one that we had last time and update the filter to only include posts by the same author. The way that we do this is we come into our filter and to add another filter, we use the plus sign and we want to filter on the primary author. And in particular, the, um, primary author slug and so that's like the um uh the url the slug for the the primary author of the current post in the same way so we're going to save this and refresh the page and now you can see that a different post has uh shown up and let me update our data so we can see what's coming through And now you see that there's all Jamie's all the way down. So instead of returning that post by Ryan, we're now returning posts by Jamie. And again, the way that we did that was to update the filter so that now we're also filtering on the primary author. And in particular, we only want posts that have the same primary author as the current post. And so now Ghost will return not only the posts with the same primary author, but also those posts that don't have a matching ID. In the next example, we're going to get a little more complex and show posts that are related by tag. 
In our third example, we're going to look at building a read next section that filters on related tags. So I am on the headline theme, uh, which is on the right, and I'm open to this post. If I scroll down here, you'll see that there's a read next section, which shows posts that are all related to the post that I'm on. So this is tagged with astronomy and science, and these are all science posts. This is the default behavior for headline, and we're gonna look at the code that is powering this to see how it works. So I have that open on the left-hand side here. The code of interest is in the related posts file, and it starts here pretty much the same as what we looked in at, at in the last example. So we have a git helper, which fetches posts, and then we have this include attribute, which we didn't have before. By default, when you use the git helper, it does not include author or tag data. And this is for performance reasons, for efficiency. So if you need that data to come back, you have to specify it. Um, we need that here, you can see, because the author name is included in this read next section. So um, in order to show that, to have that data available, you need to put in the include authors. You could also then, if you wanted authors and tags, you would put tags and that's a way to tell Ghost explicitly to give you back that data. Where things really get interesting though is the updated filter attribute. So before, remember we have that same um, syntax where we want to exclude the current post from um, being returned in the data that we get back. Uh, you can see that it's a little bit different than what we saw before. Um, here, we're not inside of the post context. And what I mean by that is when you are inside the post context, that means you're in between these post tags. Because we're not inside of that, we need to prefix the data with post. And so that tells Ghost to go inside that context, get the ID of the current post, and exclude it from what we're going to get back. So the other important part of this filter, uh, which is really the, the meat and potatoes of it, is this tags. So we're gonna filter on tags. And then the syntax here is post.tags, and this tells Ghost to match the, the post that we're going to get back to the tags of the current post. Everything else about the git helper is the same. So the limit equals three we've saw before, as well as the block parameter. But I know that the tags part of it can be a little bit confusing. So again, let's look at the data that's coming in to help us visualize it. So create this little helper to do that. So let's refresh. All right, so here we have the current post and it has two tags. It has the astronomy tag and the science tag. So what goes to, so astronomy and science is what's going to be put into this tags filter here. And what Ghost will do is it's going to match the first most recent posts that either have astronomy or have science, either one of those two. So the first two posts that are um, returned, or actually the first post that's returned has both of them. So it has astronomy and science, but the next post only matches on science and as well as then this next post only matches on science. So it only needs to match one of these in the, in the list but it does need to match one of them. And so um, this means that there'll be some kind of similarity in topic between the current post and those that are suggested. After that, everything is pretty much the same as what we saw before. Again, we're checking if there's anything returned. So it could be the case that you've published something that doesn't, and then there's no other posts with that same tag. That means that the rest of this code won't execute and that this read next and everything in here will be hidden. Um, after that, you get to the for each helper, same as what we had before. Um, so it's going through this next collection that we named up here as the block parameter. And then we're using, uh, again, to partial, same as before, to loop through all of the data and to render each one of these cards. So everything is very similar to last time. The big difference, again, is in this um, tags filter and to bring in all of the tags um, of the current post and then match to at least one tag of a new post. 
In our final example of a read next section, we're going to dynamically generate the suggested posts based on the member's status. What I mean is that depending whether the person who's reading this is a paid member or not, we're going to show a different read next section with the goal of trying to convert more members or readers into paid members. All right, so let's take a look at how this code works. So we're in a related post um, template and we see that right away there's something a little bit different. This is a member uh, object and it's a way for you to test whether the current person who's reading the page is a paid member or not. If they are a paid member, then we're going to show the read next section just like we did before where we show three posts that are related by tag. If they're not a paid member, then we're going to do something a little bit different. So we have two Git helpers here and they're two, doing two different things. This first one is getting two posts that are related by tag and ensuring that the visibility for them is public. That means that anyone can access them. Uh, there's no restricted content. Next, we're getting a visibility paid post, which means that this is content that's restricted to paid members and only can be seen by paid members. So we have two collections here, and this is where a block parameter, for example, becomes really important because it allows us to reference each of these two different um, content collections. Now, one thing that you have to be aware of here is that, so we do this Git helper, and technically this second Git helper is occurring within the first one. So in order to correctly um, reference the ID, we step out of this context. So that's, that's what this means here, these two dots. It goes out of that context to get the post ID to ensure again that we're not showing the current post as one of the ones to read next. So once we do that, the next important part is for this for each loop. So the for each loop will first go through the paid post. So that's this first, um, the second Git helper here. We're going to show that one first. And over in the read next section, that's this first post here. So you can see that is different and it's a premium um, post. So if I click on this, it's going to show some of it the content but then give the cta that this post is for paying subscribers only and what this is again is, is it's a bit of an incentive an opportunity for a member who's not paid to see some of your premium content and then um, give them the opportunity to take a look at it and maybe um, convert to a paid member after that, we're going to show uh, the public posts, the ones that have the visibility of public, just like before, and these will be related to the current post. So this is a really exciting way that you can dynamically show different content based on whether your member is paid or not. And so it's another useful tool for driving conversion and for showing just a different experience depending on who your member is. In this tutorial, you learned four different ways to build a read next section in your ghost theme. We showed you how to fetch the latest post, the latest post by the same author, posts related by tag, and finally how to dynamically show different posts based on the member's status. Hopefully you have a good sense now of how to build a read next section and maybe even customize one for your, the needs of your publication. If you get stuck or you're just looking for some more inspiration, we have a forum that you can come and talk about all things ghost at forum.ghost.org. And we also have the tutorial in a text version um, on our tutorials website. So come by, take a look, and let us know what you built.